Roe versus Wade and Planned Parenthood versus Casey haunt our country. They have no basis in the Constitution. They have no home in our history or traditions. They've damaged the democratic process. They've poisoned the law. They've choked off compromise. For 50 years, they've kept this court at the center of a political battle that it can never resolve. And 50 years on, they stand alone. Nowhere else does this court recognize a right to end a human life. This court should overrule Roe and Casey and uphold the state's law. I would say if the court were not inclined to, to overrule Casey, the, the choice would be undue burden standard, um, untethered from any bright line viability rule. What hasn't been at issue in the last 30 years is the line that Casey drew of viability. There has been some difference of opinion with respect to undue burden, but the right of a woman to choose the right of, to control her own body has been clearly set for uh, since Casey and never challenged. Will this institution survive the stench that this creates in the public perception that the Constitution and its reading are just political acts? If people actually believe that it's all political, how will we survive? How will the court survive? Both Roe and Casey emphasized the burdens of parenting. Forced parenting, forced motherhood, would hinder women's access to the workplace and to equal opportunities. It's also focused on the consequences of parenting and the obligations of motherhood that flow from pregnancy. Why don't the safe haven laws take care of that problem? It seems to me that it focuses the burden much more narrowly. There is, without question, an infringement on bodily autonomy, in you know, which we have in other contexts like vaccines. History tells a somewhat different story, I think, than is sometimes assumed. If you think about some of the most important cases, the most consequential cases in this court's history, there's a string of them where the cases overruled precedent. And if the court had done that in those cases, uh, you know, this, the country would be a much different place. If we think that uh, the prior precedents are seriously wrong, if that, why then doesn't the history of this court's practice with respect to those cases tell us that the right answer is actually to return to the position of neutrality and, uh, and um, not stick with those precedents in the same way that all those other cases didn't? 